Hi, did you know that you can extract SAP table data directly from Power BI using the DVW Analytics connector for SAP? Keep watching and I'll show you just how easy it is. Let's start in Power BI and you can see here a typical output using some SAP data. We can filter and drill into the data as usual in Power BI, but what makes this different is that we're connected live into our SAP system and can update this data at any time. The other difference is you can parameterize the call from the front end in Power BI to get exactly the data you want, and that includes both the header and the line item data. Let's see how that works. The key is building a connection to your SAP table data. You can do that using the DVW Analytics XCS console. And in this example, I'm connecting to an SAP table, BKPF. As you can see, we can connect to different data sources. And also, we can connect to various SAP systems. If we ping our system, then we can check that the connection is correct. And then we can set up our parameters, calling the table that we're interested in, and selecting the fields within that table that we want as an output. We can filter here, but actually we're going to do the filtering and parameterization in Power BI. So we leave this blank. But we can see in the data preview, we've got good data coming from our SAP system. And so our connection to that table is established. Now back in Power BI, we can configure our query using those connections to the BKPF table. And also I've created one for the BSEG, the, the line item table. Additionally, I've added some parameters and we're going to use these to filter our query from the front end from here in Power BI. So if we look at the query itself, step by step, you can see here's where the call is made. It's an old data call, as you can see, and this is back to the configuration that is set up in the XES console. If we step through the query, then you can see the data from the header table, BKPF, has been extracted. But also if we add this function, which calls the BSEG table query, then we can add the line items that relate to each of those header items. So we've been very specific here to get exactly the data we want. And we can see that data by expanding that node there. And that gives us a combination of headers and line items. Finally, if we go back to the Power BI report, we can use those parameters that we set up. Here's the one for company code. So I can change it from the front end here. I can also select a year. I don't need to add an accounting document number because these are fed from the BKPF table call. So to apply those parameters, I simply apply the changes that now makes new calls into my SAP system and brings back the data both from BKPF, the headed table, and then the related line items dependent on the parameters I've chosen. And there it is. SAP data from nested tables, header and line item, parameterized from the front end within Power BI. And the user can refresh the data, of course, at any point to give them live up-to-date numbers. I hope this video was useful, but if you'd like to see more, then visit us at our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.